Hello everyone, I have a bunch of the Japanese debut albums for Luna, and this should actually be, I think, like all the versions excluding the Orbit exclusive version, the Japan Orbit version. So let's see, I don't even know where to start. Let's start with these, I think. So I did have to go through a proxy, and it went really smoothly. I think the only downside, so that's why actually there's like these barcode things here. These are from the proxy versus like if I had just received them directly, they wouldn't have that. Yeah, Universal Music Group had like some pre-order benefit things. Do I even need the knife? Probably not. Um, they kind of released stuff in a weird pattern, I think. They had stuff that they dropped with no pre-order benefits, except for like maybe a postcard from a few places, stuff like that. And then later they did something specifically for Universal Music Group. Okay, let's look at the CD. Okay. Cute. I do actually like that. I mean, it's very pretty. And let's see, actual album details. Okay, so this was one of the limited versions. So it came with a CD and a DVD. And then, okay. Ah, we got Go On. Cute. And now to my knowledge, these are all the same cards across all the albums. Um, there, were, there were like individual fan signs. You could win a Polaroid if you entered certain things. I'm not worried about showing this, I guess, because those events already happened. Oh, those are so pretty. Cute. But yeah, so there were different things Okay, so there were normal CDs, like regular version CDs, limited A, limited B, and then a special box set with member covers through Universal Music Group Japan. And then there were, it's basically, I believe, the same member covers, but then a special box for Orbit Japan. Okay. And okay, so like same CD plate design, same DVD design. This book is pink on the back though. <laughs> Go on again. Oh, cute. And uh, if you watched my Not Friends unboxing, I did mention that I just did the Orbit Japan fan club fan sign. And that was really nice because basically if you, they were limited, but if you bought the Orbit Japan version, then you also just by buying the box, got into a fan call with them, which is Nice, because that was significantly cheaper than most uh, fan signs I've ever done. Because <laughs> you just had to buy the one thing, and with the fan club they were sending it, like, I didn't have to use a proxy, which was really nice. So those were the two limited albums. I don't really remember which one is A or B. Does it say? Ah, it does say, okay. So this one is A, this one is B, A. Let's do all of our regular guys now. So these are the clear cards and these were the pre-order benefits for getting stuff through Universal Music Group. So these are like large, clear, very soft cards. <laughs> and um, I will open these in a few minutes. But these are all the regular versions and because online it did look to me, there were there were a lot of debates going on over this at the time. It looked to me like everything was the same card across album versions. And that was pretty much true until they released the 
like member covers, which have different photo cards in them. So I'll clearly do both of those. But I only bought like two copies of the limiteds because those are more expensive. And then I bought 12 versions of the regular albums for the purpose of photo cards. So we'll see who we pull. Hopefully it's not all go on, <laughs> but let's get started. Okay, so the CD plate appears to be the same across all of the, like, normal versions. So, I mean, normal, this is regular, and then the limited versus, like, I'm pretty sure they have member CD plates for the member versions. <laughs> Which is kind of different because a lot of times with, like, Japanese albums, the CD plates will be different across variations. At least from, like, Dreamcatcher or Twice. Okay, so we got a group card. Oh, that's so cute. And I actually have not watched any unboxings for these because I just didn't want to see anything until I opened them myself. Oh, I love when we get stuff like this. I love when they're like in order. <laughs> oh, so cute. Cute, cute, cute. That's adorable. I'm glad that we at least get some photos because sometimes with Japanese albums, you like don't get much <laughs> in them. Also, the sun is coming out now while I'm filming this, so lighting might get weird. Please just deal with it. <laughs> Olivia. Yojin Vivi Olivia Gimlet Jinsel Cherry Eve <laughs> Chew And go on So we did not get a full set But we actually got a pretty nice spread which I was not expecting. So, um, so we did not get any Heijin, and we did not get any Gungeon. We did not get Hassel, but we got a group card. One Yojin with her cute little frog edit. One Vivi. One Kim Lip. One Jinsel. One Cherry. 
one eve do choose three go on and two olivia Hye. and that is from all of our our 12 copies of the regular version and two limited versions so I will then be looking for trades for the missing members, but I'm actually really happy that I only need to track down three members. Okay, so these clear card things are what came with the universal box, and I'll obviously unbox that after. But let's see who we got for these. So these are all random, I believe. There should be 12, one per member. And they're pretty large, like compared to a photo card. I mean, it's obvious, but yeah. <laughs> okay, for a second I was like, are they the same image? But no, they're not. They're just close. <laughs> so our first one we got is Chu. And they're like slightly transparent. Like not super, super clear but like you can kind of see my hand under it. Eugen. These, I'm about to jinx it. I'm really hoping not to pull a lot of duplicates. <laughs> Yojin. Kim Lip. Go on. Cherry. Ah, duplicate. Ejin. Oh no. Ejin. <laughs> Eve. Uh, Eve again. Oh no. Heejin. Uh, Eve. <laughs> mm, okay, I kind of did jinx it, huh? Yeah, okay, that's, that's okay. I shouldn't really complain too much because... It could always be worse, <laughs> but I only got seven of the members and we'll definitely then now have to try and find trades, which might be a little tough only because I do know that people got these a little while ago and I, that's my own fault. I was really lazy in getting this open and everything, but hopefully Instagram will pull through for me. Um, <laughs> So obviously I was missing Gungeon, Hustle, uh, Jin Soul, Olivia, I think that was it. Vivi, is that who I was missing too? Let's see. Okay, I have Heejin, I need Hyunjin, Hustle, got Yojin, I need Vivi, I have Kim Lip, I need Jin Soul, I have Cherry, I have Eve, Chu, go on, yeah, so I need Olivia. So that's fine. <laughs> Oh well, hopefully I can still find some trades for them. And then these should be all of our member versions. So I'm confused because there's another regular in here. I'm trying to remember if I actually ordered 13 or if this came with the box set. I don't know, we'll just open it anyways. Oh yay! One we needed. Dungeon. Perfect. Alright, and then for these, these should not have random inclusions. You should all be member organized. Or they should all just be member based. <laughs> So everything in this should be Heejin or Hyunjin or whatever it is based off of the version you have. So 
Getting started, we have Heejin. So her cover right here, her CD plate. Feels really weird putting it in that way, but I get why they do it that way. Her card. And then each individual thing is just basically going to be photo, track list, credits, lyrics. I decided I'll just pop this open and put it together because it's pretty straightforward and then I can just put the albums as I open them in here as they should go. <laughs> so here is our box. It's a little misshapen right now. It has the names and the track listing right here. Same pattern, not for sale. And then the Luna stuff. So we'll start putting our members in here. And hopefully the box will eventually take shape. <laughs> okay, dungeon. Cover. CD plate, dungeon card, hustle cover, hustle CD, hustle card, Yojin cover, Yojin CD, BB cover, BB CD. And I do really like this styling in particular. Her car. Kim lip cover. Kim lip CD. Her card. That's so cute. Jin soul cover. Her CD. Her card. Cherry cover. Cherry CD. Like, I just think that outfit is so cute. I don't know, like, I don't know why. I just think the colors are so adorable. Eve cover. And Eve CD. And one nice thing is, like, with these Japanese cases, there's always, like, a little tear strip. Like, usually at the bottom of the album. That makes it a lot easier to just, like, unwrap it. Eve. Chew cover and chew CD. And this was the first time that we really did get like as OT12 member cover things. Because obviously when they were pre-debut, we had all of the solo covers and everything as they came out. But we have not had a Korean release that was purely like individual member based stuff. Chew card. Oh, that's really adorable. Cover. Go on CD. Go on. Olivia cover. Olivia CD. Olivia. How cute. But so this is how it looks when you have all of them in the box. It's cute. I kind of almost wish that they had done for the spine right here. The member colors because if you're doing member versions may as well right but it's cute it's uh, it's still a little flimsy in my opinion um i wish it was a little more solid but still nice it's a nice collector's item for sure for all of our stuff i mean i think these were good pulls for the most part it could have been a lot worse the the clear cards were not ideal but again like Hey, most of the time I'm just happy when I don't pull all the same members through the whole thing. But here, we can go through our cards one more time. I'll show you guys for what I have, the differences between the versions. Okay, so for starters, this is regular version or limited version, whatever. Both for these members. 
I did not pull Heejin for the regular version, nor did I pull Hustle, so I just lined these up. I do like that they're quite different cards. Kind of wish that we had gotten Eve in one of these types of outfits versus the same outfit here, but I won't complain because they are at least different cards. <laughs> And then these are our two cards. Go on, Olivia Hye. And I guess Olivia and Eve both had like that same outfit versus the other version outfit, whatever it would be called. So these are cute. And then obviously we just have our lone Heejin and Hustle over here. And then for the backs, I think the only difference is that it says their name down here. So. This is the normal or limited version card. And then this is the member specific version card. So you can see there's a small difference right here. But that is helpful for identifying like what type each card is. <laughs> so yeah, that is gonna be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I know this is kind of late, so maybe people won't even care that I just did this unboxing, but I needed to unbox it anyways. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good holiday. Bye.